To solve this tutorial problem, visit the APMonitor.com website. Scroll down to the optimization course and then select the parallel computing uh, under the activity section. Here that you can find the zipped archive of all the files used in this demonstration. It includes uh, a couple different MATLAB scripts and uh, we'll be able to do replicate the things that I'm going to show in this example. I'm going to parallelize this. So first of all, I do my mat um, lab pool. So this is just a way to tell MATLAB how many processors I want to use. In this case, I have a computer that can run up to four at the same time. But if I'm on a uh, you know something with more cores, uh, might be able to gr you might be able to grab more uh, for this. Um, so I'm, I'm just going through this simple uh, example of clearing the application, loading the model, solving it, and then just retrieving the solution. But I want to do that um, for two at the same time, okay, instead of just uh, one at a time. So I'm going to add my, instead of a for loop here, one to two, I'm just going to do a PAR for, which is a parallel for. Okay, and then I this thing has to run through independently so I could do two before one or um, you know if I had ten I'd have to be able to do them in any order okay so I've got to write it in a way that allows me to run them uh, independently so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the PAR4 and then here where I had a I'm gonna give it a different application name I'm just gonna do a uh, a braces there uh, br open brace uh, close braces um, and I'm going to give this a different name based on the loop that I'm in. Okay, in this case, I'm going to do the int to string on i. And then wherever I see a now, I have to just replace that here. Okay, so there's the, uh, let's see, I'm going to... Who's providing some feedback there? So I'm just going to mute. I think Mustafa, you were providing a little bit of feedback. I'm just going to mute your microphone. If you want to talk a little bit, uh, you know, go ahead and unmute. Mario, I don't think you were providing any feedback. So, um, okay. Uh, so here's the uh, next one here. I'm just going to change all of these. So now there's my application names. And uh, what I'm going to do now is is go ahead and also my solution. I'm going to have different solutions that are going to be returned. I'm going to make those uh, as cell arrays as well. These things are called cell arrays. Um, so I'm just going to store my different solutions here and with I. Okay. So now I have uh, I've, I've created a new for loop. I'm just going to do a control I there. And that's going to indent everything in that loop. And now it's going to run in parallel. Now you'll see that, that this MATLAB pool, it takes a few uh, seconds to, uh, you know, to just retrieve that so, um, and, and dedicate those processors for MATLAB. So if you have something that takes very little time like this one, um, it's probably not worth it. Um, but if you have you know something that takes a long time and you need the parallel processing capabilities um, you know that 25 or 20 second overhead for you know starting the parallel program that that's worth it okay so what I'm going to do as well is instead of just solving NLP 1 I'm also going to change the name that I have here um, and I'm going to just change that to application name um, and then dot APM Okay, so that that's going to load a different model, um, and I need to end. Okay, so so this is now the name of my model file that I have. So I have these two NLP uh, files here. The first one uh, was the one that we originally set up. This one is the alternate form with the slack variable greater than zero. So we've put the slack variable in here to transform it from a inequality constraint to an equality constraint. Uh, and then this was our original one uh, without the slack variable there, but just with the inequality constraint. Okay, so APM transforms it with its slack variable automatically, or we can do it manually 
um, here with the uh, slack variable, additional slack variable. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, I'll go ahead and save it and then run. And then you'll see MATLAB right here. It's trying to get a pool. Okay, so it's using the local profile, and you can see two processors that were acquired down there. And then here are the two applications that came out. So this is the second one that we had. You can see this is the NLP2 solution, and there's our Slack variable equal to zero. And here's our previous one with the inequality constraint. These two gave you know equivalent solutions. Okay, so we were able to transform an inequality constraint problem into an equality constraint problem and then we solved this um, you know in parallel with MATLAB so you could in MATLAB you know if I had my four processors here I could solve four problems um, at a time but I just need to change the application name I could also change the server for example let's say I said server uh, 1 equals XPS and then server 2 equals the BYU server. So now I'm I'm actually sending those out to different servers and then retrieving them, but it'll do it simultaneously. Okay, um, so let me go ahead and actually add another one as well. I'll go ahead and add, um, I'll do it on my local computer as well. Okay, so I have a server set up just on my on my computer. And then I'll also send it off to um, the apmonitor.com server. So I'll send it off to four uh, to four servers. I'll need to get uh, four processors now and then I'll run through those. Wherever I see the S now I just need to replace it um, with what I did for the A as well. Just a, you know that, that server name. Okay so let me go ahead and load my model to that server. Uh, I need to do that as S. Okay, so here is uh, S as well. I think that was, oh, here it is. Okay, so let me run this. I'm going to do this on uh, four optimization problems at the same time, solving them on these different servers that are set up to solve um, the AP monitor uh, processes or the optimization problems. So let me. Try that. I haven't actually tried this yet, so there might. I don't know if there's going to be an error. Um, let's see. I had failed to open up MATLAB pool. Um, let's see. Found an interactive session. You cannot have multiple interactive sessions open simultaneously. Uh, so I did not do the close command there. So what I need to do is do MATLAB pool uh, close. Because I have two um, processors that have already been uh, acquired for a pool, I'll close those and get it down to zero. The other thing I need to do is maybe just clean up after I run each time. So MATLAB pool uh, close. Okay, so it, it's going to release those processors. Uh, it complained to me here that I had um, another one open. Okay, so it could only have one open at a time. So it just told me to use the MATLAB pool close uh, command here. Um, let me go ahead and run that. Okay, so it's going to grab the four processors. We should see four come up here. Okay, and let's see uh, load. Okay, so let's see if we had all those files. I didn't have NLP4 there. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that there. Um, I'll just make a copy of NLP3. Okay, and then let's try it one more time. Um, oh, you know, and th this is the other thing that happens. Um, it crashed halfway through the program, and so it never made it to the MATLAB pool close. And you can see that down here, that four are still open. And so you may need to uh, close that yourself. Um, if it uh, crashed the program. Okay, so let me go ahead and run it one more time. We'll see if this one is going to work. We'll see if it grabs four and then uh, if, it, if it runs on those four. Okay, so here it ran on the apmonitor.com website. So you can see which is the fastest server as well, which one came back faster than the other. So this was the slowest one 
right here just running the apmonitor.com website let's see what the next fastest one was so that was XPS okay and then uh, localhost surprisingly my own computer was slower than the uh, BYU server okay so these are the four that opened up on those from those four servers and we'd all we had done all of these um, you know we'd done all of them simultaneously in MATLAB okay so any any questions on that guys uh, any uh, any questions so on how to so these four are like Four different physical computers, or like the four core of a single processor, like four core in a single computer. Yeah, there are four different um, computers. Let me just go to documentation. I think I had some information on it um, from here. Let me see if MATLAB SQL command line. Oh no, it's under users. I think. Um, Let's see if I had. There, I had something on here that showed, um, you know, what servers were available to use, and I'll add some of those later as, um, there they are. Okay, so I just did a search there. These are the different servers that you can use. Um, and these are their their specs. Okay, so this was the XPS server. That's the AP Monitor server. This is um, the BYU server. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM and and uh, 64 CPUs on it. So it's a pretty fast. Uh, you know, it's a fairly fast computer. But any of these can be used to solve. Um, the other thing that uh, some some have as well is they're running this server basically on their own computer and so they don't have to send their optimization problems out to the internet but it'll solve it just on their um, their local computer okay but that that involves a little bit more you know to install an Apache server and PHP um, on their own computer but that's also possible okay so uh, good question any other questions uh, I have one more question here so like uh, even within a single problem, like you might have parallelism, and like you might have calculating first or second or derivative. So can you do can you exploit that or like uh, can you do that kind of parallelism? Like if you have a, like single problem but you wanna like do it faster because your data is so large because you have so many constraints and variable, you know, mm -hmm. but, uh, and you can exploit the parallelism kind of that. So is there any kind of parameter you can set in so that if there is possible, if there is parallelism, so modern language do those all this kind of use the parallel and mm -hmm. use the more code and then do the faster. Yep. Is that possible? No, that is definitely possible. And in fact, IP Opt Solver, um, you can load linear algebra packages with IP Opt because linear algebra is where a lot of the solvers spend a lot of their time, their computational time. And so Pardizo, there's um, also Mumps Linear Solver. Those both have parallel versions. So within IPOPT or other solvers, they automatically parallelize uh, some of the computation. I don't know if that's been, I, I think some people have been working on that, you know, to exploit some of that, to be able to parallelize it. But it would be more on the solver level versus the uh, the modeling language level. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but it's still like in the modeling language level also, we can explore the parallelism, yeah? Because uh, the language should provide a first and second order derivative. And while calculating those derivatives, we can, we can uh, explore the parallelism, yeah? That's right. And, and let me do one thing here. I'm just going to um, turn up the diagnostic level on it to do a little bit of timing just to see how much time is spent on the solver um, versus you know versus on uh, you know the the residual evaluations first derivative second derivative evaluation so I'm just going to do an APM um, option and then I have my server and then application name and I'm going to do NLC diag level. Okay, I'm going to put that at um, 
two. Okay, so I can turn it up to a higher level and see more of what's happening. And, and in this case, actually, I think only, you only need one in order to be able to see some of the timing uh, things that, that are returned. And then what I want to do is um, also record the output of the solve. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to record that into output one, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to run this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this again. And uh, this is going to let me go ahead and bring up MATLAB. Okay, it ran it um, again. But let me go back to MATLAB. Now I'm going to look at output uh, one, for example. Let me make this a little bit bigger so it's so it's easier to see. And we'll just look at some of the timing. Um, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, the total system time was 0 0.05 seconds. The total solve time was 0 0.02. And we, and we may not be able to see some of these timing things because it was so fast. But for your larger problems, um, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and uh, so here is, uh, for example, your um, your residual evaluations, you had 19 of those Okay, for this problem. You had 14 that were uh, first derivative calculations. This AP op solver, it does not use um, second derivatives, it uses a BFGS update, so it didn't use any of the, of the second derivatives. But you could you know, break down the times that it spent um, you know, doing the first derivative calculations or the um, uh, or the second derivatives as well. Okay, so this is where it spends all of its time. Um, you know, you see solver setup. Solver setup took 0 0.02 seconds. So in this case, um, solver setup um, was right there with like file read write, and then just parsing and reading the APM file and initializing it. Okay, so. So on larger problems, that, that gives a breakdown of of how much time was spent on each um, you know on each part of the problem. Okay, um, yeah, good question on timing. And you know you, you could even parallelize, for example, the equation residuals and the derivative calculations if you needed to. Okay, Arthur has to go. He was just sitting in here with us. Um, but he has to take off now. Okay, all right, see you, Arthur. Have a nice weekend. Okay, good. So um, I'll go ahead and post this example. Um, you know, just if you guys want to play around with it, uh, you won't be able to use the uh, the local host server. So let me go ahead and just um, unless you have something installed on yours. So I'll go ahead and do two of them to the BYU server, and then. Uh, I shall do three of them to the BYU server. The last one's a little bit slower. Okay, um, so I've I've mixed which server it's solving on. Um, but yeah, it, it, Paras, you're exactly right. If you had, you know, one problem that was taking a lot of time, you'd want to parallelize just that problem, and you could either do that with the modeling language, or you could do that, um, you know, at the solver level as well.